turn back the clock. It's 1933. It's also one of the last appearances in the ring of the late Joe Humphreys, the most colorful fight announcer ever to grace the squared circle. They just couldn't start a big match in those days without Joe bringing them out. Listen. 15 rounds. Principal. Winner. Meet the champion in June. ill-fated clash this turned out to be. The Man Mountain from Italy, six feet seven inches of towering Goliath versus plucky Ernie Shamp. We realize that tragedy is stalking the arena as these great potential candidates for the heavyweight championship battle it out in the center of the ring. Shaft, as perfect a fighting machine as ever laced on a glove, definitely a contender for the title. Shaft, one of the game as clean as scrappers of all time. And what few people know, as he stands there taking the murderous blows of the 264-pound giant, is that Shaft is ill. Not long out of a sick bed, he should never have entered the ring. The experts could see it, and the longer the bout went, the more apparent it became that Carnero would crumble his opponent to the canvas. Johnny Buckley, Ernie's manager, left it to the boy, and Ernie gamely insisted that a contract was a contract. He'd agreed to fight, and fight he did. The powerful, lumbering Carnero never gave him a chance. Fate has destined the awkward Italian to wear the brief mantle of fame. Some destiny, some power, something way back in the cards has decreed that there is the next heavyweight champion of the world. But tonight, there are few stars in Primo's crown. He's winning, yes, but against what odds? He's climbing a ladder over a boy who doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Through 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 grueling rounds, the plucky chef stands up to his opponent. It can't last much longer. Launching a terrific left. Chef is down. He's in utter collapse. The mob howls for the kill. They've come for a Roman holiday. And they've not been cheated. Little do they know that Ernie Chef has fought his last fight. That he'll be carried from the ring to die. And as Primo's great arm is lifted in the traditional symbol of victory, a game little guy makes his final exit from the world of Fistiana.